Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be making another little video. Today it's going to be removing my tape and extensions at home. So obviously I am wearing my Lady Lux tape and extensions. I'm not going to lie, I've literally got about 10 extensions in my hair. I've been letting them come out. I'm also been quite bad. I've been taking extensions out along the way. Um, yeah, I don't have many extensions in at all. So yeah, I'm going to be removing my tape and extensions today. I'm going to be using this Lady Lux remover kit to take out my extensions today. These tape removal kits, we made these up so that clients would be able to remove their extensions safely at home. And it basically has step-by-step -step instructions of how to remove your tape and extensions and we have all the essentials in the box that you need for removing the extensions. So I'm going to go through what's in the box just now. So this is inside the tape removal kit. We have basically got your solution, tape solution remover. We have got your cleansing shampoo. We have got a little Purology shampoo, a little Redken, conditioner and we've got a couple of little samples and a couple of masks to try out along with a little lint clip. So these kits are available to purchase directly from Lady Lux Hair X Instagram page. Our online shop which is ladylux.co.uk is not actually up and running at the minute but we hope towards the end of the week that they will be able to be purchased from the website. Basically what I'm gonna do with my hair first is I'm gonna remove it from the spray and I'm gonna brush it all through to make sure that there's no tugs and there's no knots. The items that you're gonna need for this video is you're gonna need a hairbrush. Again, I'm gonna be using my favorite wet brush. You also need a tail comb and you're also gonna need your Lady Lux remover kit. I'm gonna start off, first of all, by taking my hair out and basically brushing all the tugs and all the knots out. And you're gonna be able to see 10 extensions that I've got in and how odd my hair is looking, and that's why, um, yeah, I was wearing my hair like this today. So yeah, this side of my extensions is more or less already out. And this side is still in. So obviously I have brushed all out the majority of all my tugs and all my knots in my hair. And you can see my tape and extensions are in here. So I am going to start off with my remover solution. So the remover solution is a spray so that it's um, easy to apply to the tapes. So basically what you're going to be doing with the solution is you're going to be applying it into the seam of the tapes. Now the tape extensions are applied in your hair with two halves and your hair is in the middle. So your hair is in the middle, one tape's here and one tape's here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying the oil in this seam. So we're going to be trying to get as much oil into the seam of the tape extensions as possible. So I'm now going to directly apply the remover solution to the seam of the tapes. Always use the remover so solution really generously as you want to have as much of the oil inside the tape as possible. Once you've applied that, we're now gonna massage the tapes together. You're basically just massaging both sides of the tape, forward and backwards to loosen the extension and disperse the oil about the tape as much as possible. If you need to apply more oil, then please keep applying. The remover solution will start to seep into the middle of the tape and you should be able to prise the tapes apart and the tapes will just slide easily out of your hair. You will have a little bit residue in your hair, but we will remove this all at the end. Now I'm just moving on to my next tape and I'm carrying out the process again, applying the oil and massaging the oil into the seam of the tape. Sometimes this can take a little bit of time. You can um, be massaging for 
between 30 seconds and one minute before your tape extension will release. And then I'm just gonna be pulling the two halves apart. In some situations, you might remove one half of the tape from your hair, but the other um, side of the tape does remain stuck. Then always apply more oil because adding more oil is just going to cause the tape to break down and slide out of your hair. Again, you might have a little bit of residue in your hair, but don't worry about this too much because we can remove this all at the end. And I always like to join my tapes together so that you don't get sticky and tacky and don't lose any. And it's perfect for when you are reinstalling them, they're all nice and neat. So I'm just gonna keep making my way around my hair. I am gonna have a little bit of residue and build up in here, but I'm gonna remove all that later. So now that I have removed all my hair extensions, I am now going to be moving on to the next stage of the removal process. I am going to just remove any last residue that might be left. I mean, my hair does look really greasy, but that is just because of the oil, so don't worry. There is just a little bit of um, stickiness in here that um, I just need to remove. So basically what I'm gonna do with this, so I'll show you here, it's just a little bit of the tape and a little bit of stickiness. So I'm just gonna be applying a little bit more oil. I'm just gonna be kneading it out with my fingers. And I'm just gonna take my tail comb and then I'm just gonna brush. Any of the residue out and here is my little tapey bit that is now come out nicely. For the second step, I am now going to wash and condition my hair. So first of all, I'm gonna use a deep cleansing shampoo to remove all this unwanted oil from my hair. Now, so it is really important that you use a cleansing shampoo. But the cleansing shampoo that is in the kit, it's stripping all this unnecessary oil and unwanted oil from the hair. If you use a regular shampoo, it doesn't tend to strip out all the oil as much. So if we use one of these cleansing shampoos, it just removes as much oil as possible so that you, your hair can be feeling so fresh and so clean once um, we properly blow dry it. So I'm now gonna be washing my hair with this cleansing shampoo. I'm gonna be doing two washes, two deep intense washes where I'm like scrubbing in at my scalp and scrubbing right in at my hair and um, yeah, making sure that all the oil is out of my hair. And then using my Purology Best Blonde because obviously I've got blonde hair and the Best Blonde has got some purple agents in it. So it will make my hair a little bit silvery, which is gonna just freshen up my blonde, obviously after having my extensions out. And I'm gonna use this Redken Diamond Oil Mini Conditioner. And I'm gonna leave it on for a good few minutes to just give it a mini conditioning treatment and yeah to make my hair feel super soft and silky now that i've removed all my extensions this is the perfect time to be giving your hair a little bit of a, a break from extensions and giving your hair added extra tlc because it is always difficult to do conditioning treatments and masks when you have got extensions in or if you're like a long-term extension wearer so like use this opportunity to give your hair some extra tlc and yeah, just give it some extra love and do deep conditioning treatments and give it a bit of a break and hopefully get it in better condition for you putting your extensions back in. Hope you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe to the channel and if you've got any questions, please feel free to drop them below. And if you've got any hairstyles that you want me to recreate, then also please send me a message or comment below.